Trey Gowdy, what would be your expectation for her opening comments here coming up? Well, I hope she'll ask a question that's rooted or grounded in fact, unlike the one that she asked Justice Kavanaugh. Um, I think the Democrats perceive that they did not fare well after the conf uh, Kavanaugh confirmation hearing, so you won't see that, that level of ad hominem attack. Um, you'll hear about the ACA. I, Bill, I would like to make one point. You know, I pointed out that Scalia had zero no votes and that Amy Coney Barrett will get zero yes votes from Democrats. And Mr. Wallace said, you know, what happened was Merrick Garland. That can't possibly be what happened because Samuel Alito got 40 no Democrat votes a decade before there was somebody named Merrick Garland. John Roberts got two dozen no Democrat votes a decade before Merrick Garland, including Clinton, Biden, Obama, Kerry, Schumer, Reid, Feinstein. So clearly what happened to Supreme Court confirmation hearings predates Merrick Garland by at least a decade. Trey, um, <laughs> Chris, Chris Wallace has been up on the screen listening to that and wants to respond. Go ahead, Chris. Well, look, I, I agree it didn't start with Merrick Garland. On the other hand, uh, John Roberts sailed through. Yes, there were more no votes than there were for Antonin Scalia, but the world had changed from the 90s to when we got in, in, into the 2000s. Uh, and, and, and again, I, the question I would have, you know, uh, Ben Sass made this big argument about the difference between civics and politics. So here's my question to you, uh, Congressman Gowdy. Is it civics that the Republicans blocked the Merrick Garland nomination 269 days before the election and they're pushing uh, this one through now 22 days or is it pure politics? It's pure raw politics, but also what is pure raw politics is the one Republican who's actually done what most of us want to see, which is treat Supreme Court justices fairly, is Lindsey Graham, who voted for Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor. And the reward for that is a historic level of money pouring in to try to kick him out of the Senate. I, I, so, yeah, it's politics, can I just, can I just but it'd be nice if everybody... It, Make it if, quick. If, we have Ken Starr. Can I just say one quick thing in response to that? Go ahead, Just Chris. one quick thing in response. I, I, I agree with you. Uh, let, let's, Chris and Trey, we know each other. Uh, I agree with you on, on that. And I, look, I agree. The whole system is messed up and the politics is out of control. Having said that, it was Lindsey Graham who in 2018 or 2019 at a forum said, look, if there is a nomination in the final year after the primary start in 2020 for Donald Trump, I will not bring it up before my committee. And he even said, mark the tape and hold me to account on that. So he has flipped entirely. Mm -hmm. Here's, I guess, my point. And so it's has all every so, Gentlemen, and the we, idea we're that arguing. That one and, party's and, wait a minute here. We're debating history, okay, from four years ago. Today in 2020, you've got a leading candidate in Joe Biden who's been asked repeatedly over the past several weeks whether or not he would pack the court if he won. And he's yet to even provide an answer. And we're still waiting on that day after day. So that's where we are in 2020.